Good afternoon. I'm Suresh Sethi from the University of Texas at Dallas. I came to know of this conference through Professor Greg Parlier, and I thank him and the conference organizers very much for inviting me to deliver this keynote address at this conference. I'm extremely sorry, however, that I could not come to Malta and give this talk in person. As a result, I'm coming to you via this video. Today, my talk concerns with dynamic supply chains and the hierarchical games required to model them. So we begin by looking at a very simple supply chain. In this supply chain, a supplier sets the wholesale price and the retailer orders the quantity from the supplier in order to sell the, the goods in the market. The supplier sets the wholesale price to maximize his profit. The retailer responds to by deciding an order quantity, and he does that so as to maximize his profit. As you can see that these people both maximize their own re profits respectively. However, their self-serving action do not maximize the total profit of the entire supply chain. What happens is there is an inefficiency due to this decentralization, which we call double marginalization. And the reason it's called double marginalization is because it involves two margins. The first margin, the supplier puts up a margin over his cost to set the whole pet price. And the second margin, the retailer sets the retail price by putting a margin over the wholesale price. That's why it is called double marginalization. And this particular problem is modeled as a Steckelberg game. In, and, and because of the inefficiency, there's also emphasis on finding out the contracts that will reduce this inefficiency, and, and, and we will call such a contract a coordinating contract. Before we go into Steckelberg equilibrium, let us discuss the more popular Nash equilibrium by John Nash, whom you might know from the movie A Beautiful Mind. In a game of two or more players, a set of decisions by the player is a Nash equilibrium if no player can do better by changing his decision while the others stay with their decisions. Alternatively, if a player can do better by changing his decision, knowing the decisions of the others and treating them as set in stone, then the set of decision is not a Nash equilibrium. Let us now review the bar scene in A Beautiful Mind. Incoming gentlemen. Aye, aye, aye. Press. Nash, you might want to stop shuffling your papers 